So yeah, bro. Me personally, I'm not jacking it, bro. And he did win. He won. Kendrick, Kendrick won the battle. He won the beef. If you want to say it's round one, round two, whatever, he won. Um, I'm sorry. Can you say that again for the people no, that be won. in the comments? He he, he won. He, that he be won. telling you you he tripping. Won. He he won the he won the battle of public perception. Like that's <laughs> that's that's what he won. He won the battle. Not this backhanded compliment. <laughs> <laughs> he won, but that, that yeah, he is. won the battle of I'm perception. Saying, no, 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 I mean, like, bro, if you be honest, like, he didn't out rap this nigga. He won because he, bro, it's dog. I just feel like people, bro, they lie so much, bro. It's like, bro, it's clear, it's clear that y'all and it's a lot of public people. A lot of it's a public perception where people they they wanted to see this nigga lose, bro. Yeah, they wanted to see this nigga fail, bro. So it's like no matter what he came out with, it, the odds were against him, bro. This nigga Joe Budden sat up the other day and said, "Yeah, I knew. Oh yeah, it was it was clear that Kendrick uh, used Bob. Well, we all know that. Yeah, we, we all know that Kendrick used Bob. Yeah, we all know that. But I don't care. What the fuck? You don't care about a nigga cheating? But 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 we and, and, and listen, but we know Joe Budden hates Drake. But that's, but that's my point. Niggas let people like him sit up on that stupid ass couch and lie, bro. Because he'll sit there and tell you, I don't care about I don't care what these rappers think about me. I don't care about Drake. And then he'll be the same one in the club turning up to the nigga song, trying to act like he's not upset. But then he wants either nigga. Yeah. Like, what are we doing? It's like, bro, like you was you was never on my side. But any it, bro, every every everything that Drake said and that he put out was met with resistance. Yeah. There was nothing that he did. There was nothing that he put out where people just said, damn, like, bro, verse two of Family Matters is some of the best rapping we heard all year. Yeah. Niggas act like Family Matters was trash. I watched a nigga say, I watched a nigga say. That everything Drake said in the heart part six was a lie. And then turn around and say, not like us is fire. Nigga, you have like, what are we talking about, bro? Like you're picking and choosing. It's a reason why the nigga didn't perform meet the grams at the, at the fucking shit. Mm -hmm. It was a song full of lies, bro. Mm -hmm. Like it's clear. Mm -hmm. Like he performed like us, like us, because he had to. It's a, it was a hit. It's a smash. I give him that. It was like, six times in what, a row. That's what people came there for. He could have played that shit forty times and in a row. Hit, hit the Drake dance on him. But that, but but on that, the A minor that, part. But 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 it's it's stuff like that where I'm like, bro, it's like there was nothing Drake could do during this beef. To make people not react the way that they reacted, bro. They they already picked who won. Yeah. They picked Kendrick to win when the like that verse came out. They picked Kendrick to win when the like that verse came out. And no, it, it, bro, when, when, when Drake dropped Taylor Made, the first thing they said, man, that shit weak. That shit, that shit ain't that. They didn't get a shit. Like, he was rapping his ass off. Cool. Whatever. People said it was weak. Then Kendrick drops fucking uh uh I mean then, then Drake dropped uh push-ups. No, what was it? Push-ups first. Yeah, he dropped push-ups. They said push-ups was weak. He dropped Taylor Made. They got mad that he used the AI of fucking Snoop and Tupac. Then Kendrick dropped Euphoria on, on Tuesday. Everybody, oh, it's the great. And I ain't gonna lie, Euphoria is the best thing Kendrick dropped to me musically throughout the whole beef. Euphoria is the best one. Euphoria is the only one. That really and truly has replay value to me. I don't have, I don't have no reason to listen to not like us. Like it's 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 a it's a hit, I guess, but it's not really. It's not as a song wise. It's not a better song than Euphoria. Not to me. I just think Euphoria is a very very good song. I I played. Euphoria yeah, they was both throwing haymakers. So, but but again, you if you say that you OVO. If you are no ain't no way, ain't no way you think that Drake was. It's like, bro, what are we doing, bro? We because don't have, we don't have no proof that any. So of I'm anything OVO because niggas, I said they they yep. was both doing haymakers. Yes, that's what they will tell you, bro. There's no room of who you been arguing with on Twitter. I, I'm I'm watching. I stopped arguing. <laughs> I stopped. Bro. I stopped going back. Bro, your ass niggas. got big as shit. <laughs> I, I stopped. I stopped because I was like, bro, the, the <laughs> level of of fucking incompetence and just just stupidity. It was getting me mad. Like I was like, "Yo, like if we was I, like we might, cause I'm, cause I'm now I'm gonna say something to you. 
Yeah. Like, okay, cool. Let's play that game. Cool. So you telling me, you telling me that you can call a motherfucker a PDF file and it's cool. You can call him a PDF file because you saw him on stage with a 17 year old in Colorado where the age is 17, but you saw him and I get it. It's weird. I'm not saying it's just not weird. Wait, the legal age in Colorado is 17? 17, if I'm That's not mistaken. crazy. Yeah. You know, I think here, Kentucky's 16, ain't it? I don't know. Some places are 16. 18. Are uh, you sure? Not an adult till you turn 18. No. I'm talking about. Like for, for consensual for, activities? Yes. I, I I think it might be 16 in Kentucky. I don't know. That's crazy. You know, every state is different, though. Literally, every state varies between 16 and 18. As far as the legal age of, age of consent of sex, I believe. I think most states are 18, but there's some that are 17. But anyway, regardless, point is, boom. So you see him on stage with that situation. I saw somebody say he's a, he's a PDF file because of that interaction with that girl. I'm like, that is insane. That is insane. That's like calling somebody a rapist because he smacked the girl's ass in public. Now, did he sexually assault her? Probably. Did you say rapist? Well, I don't want to say... Yeah, I, 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 I figured, I figured, I figured, I, I figured, I figured, I figured, you know I figured but I, I was just like, I, I like, I like what you did. Yeah, you I, know, I don't like that, but yeah. I like the way that you worded that. Yeah, because yeah. it's, it's it's easier. Hmm. So, <laughs> <laughs> but my point is, bro. You can't just throw Look, these titles. That number again. You can't. You can't just throw these. Titles. I keep seeing those three numbers. You all the time. You can't just throw these titles and these words around on people, and it's not like that's something where you need evidence for. Like that is something yeah. that you can't just say it and it's true. Like I can't call you a killer or a murderer, and you ain't never killed nobody. You ain't got no proof. You got maybe I shot a nigga, but I ain't kill him. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like you don't have that. Like, you can't just throw that tag on somebody and it's law. I think that I think that is crazy, bro. I I wasn't raised like that, bro. I wasn't raised to call somebody something that they ain't. Right. Like that's that's nobody wants that, bro. Like nobody wants to be like. So you can just say this about a person and it's true. That's weird to me, bro. That's strange. That is odd behavior like and a lot of these people that are online that operate like that i know for a fact that they wouldn't say this to these people but it's the fact that you can get on the internet and that shit is law i don't i don't like that shit bro like that shit bothers me bro yeah it ain't, ain't got nothing to do with drake it ain't got nothing to do with kendrick this is a, a internet problem it's the problem that the internet and social media has per se yeah they're a part of it they play a factor in it but it's not, I'm not blaming either side for that. Because again, we don't have no proof that what Drake was saying about, excuse me, about Dave Free being the daddy and about Dave and, and about and about Kendrick beating on Whitney. We don't have no proof for that. Yeah. We don't. We don't have no proof that uh, 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 Drake uh, uh, fucks with underage kids. I mean, what we do have proof of is you calling a, a, a person who has several public relationships with older women a pdf file like a pdf file is somebody who is literally really only attracted like they have a they have a they have a they have a type you know what i'm saying like like yeah. if, like if, if that was the case i don't think he would have been attached to serena he wouldn't have been attached to j-lo he wouldn't be attached to kim k like he wouldn't be attached to all these older women he would literally be attached he'd be like leonardo dicaprio leo's not a pdf file but Leo, not, but Leo has a history of dating women who are younger than him. Like he literally has, he's whatever. Age, he has an age. He has group. an age type. You get he what has I'm an saying? Age group type. So yeah. it's like, which it, is what I was about to say as far as like not seeing this is Drake's thing. But like, there there could you can't have different you can. fetishes, I guess, so to speak, you for can. lack of a better word. So it's like. Yeah, I get your argument and what you're saying, but there still is room for different fetishes it's, within other people. Not yeah. saying that this is him and he has these, but there are people who do. No, for sure. But that's what I'm saying. Like, which is why you get like the 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 role playing, the cause, and what all I'm of saying, that. But, there would, but, 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 but but what I'm saying is, we have proof. Of this over here. Yeah. We don't have any proof 
of this over here. Yeah. But they're negating the shit over here that dismisses this. Right. Because they want this to be true. Right. That's what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, 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 same shit with Kendrick. We've never seen him put his hands on a woman. We, woman, we never seen him be aggressive with a woman. We never had no woman say that he was ever aggressive with her. Whitney never said, and you know what I'm saying. Like so, the 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 public is like, well, eh, it's probably not true mm-hmm. because we don't have nothing to support what is being said. We don't have no, not even not even a molecule. You know what I'm saying? Like at all. On yeah. Drake's side of it, it's like, well, you know what, bro? We don't like you, and you did some weird shit. So we just gonna say, yeah, it's true. Now it's now it's stuck to him, like, bro. That's hard to shake, bro. So it's like, as an individual, like, if I'm Drake, yeah, I'm mad. Yeah, I'm I'm mad. I'm, I'm mad. I'm not even mad. Just mad at at at, at Kendrick. I'm not just mad at, at at the niggas that picked his side. I'm mad at the media, Elliot Wilson, Joe Budden, all you niggas that have been non-objective. All you niggas that clearly picked a side from the beginning, cool. Because Drake has made a lot of these niggas' careers, bro. In music and in the media. The Joe Budden podcast would not be the Joe Budden podcast if they didn't have if they weren't able to talk about Drake. Yeah. That is a fact. Some of Joe's biggest episodes, most watched, most viewed, most listened content from Patreon to YouTube to Spotify, wherever you get the Joe Budden content at, is about Drake. Mm-hmm. Those album reviews, those Drake rants. Hell, the last time he spoke about Drake and, and, and Drake said some shit on Instagram, it's like, bro, all that shit is content that Joe has benefited and profited off of. And so for you to sit there and act as if, oh, uh, 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 I don't care that Kendrick used bots. I don't care about this, bro. You're, you're a liar. And if you're not a liar, bro, you just you, you just. You a weirdo, bro. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, same thing for Elliot Wilson, bro. You was just bitching about this nigga not doing a fucking interview with you because he gave y'all the Rap Radar interview a couple years ago, and then you want to bitch last year about him not coming to your platform again. It's like, bro, that nigga don't owe you shit. That's weird. So now because he didn't he didn't come to you for an interview, you all on Kendrick's dick. That's corny, bro. You can't sit there. You can't sit there and be like, man, I can't believe this nigga Drake blocked me, and then in the same breath, you posting all Kendrick disses. Yeah. Damn, nigga, why you blocked me, bro? Nigga, because your last five tweets was this. And like, what are we doing? Fuck you. <laughs> like, you ain't post my shit not one time. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, bro, it's, 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 it's clear that there was something to begin with. It's clear that niggas felt some type of way before the before the beef popped off. And and like I said, bro, there were sides united. You had a person like Kendrick who he, he can stand on his own. He has the stature. He's not Drake, but he can stand on his own. He can hold his own weight. His fans and the fans of the people who don't like Drake, bro, they just they just united on a common cause. And I mean, shit, Drake lost. He didn't lose the battle of the bars. Yeah, yeah. But he lost the battle of public perception. He lost the internet game. Mm-hmm. And I mean, and, and we live in an internet era. I mean, and the internet, if the internet says that this song isn't going to go, the song's not going to go. You know what I'm saying? I, I, you know, but I, I don't know. in you making that statement, mm-hmm. he lost because of public perception. And you just admitted that we live in an internet era. Can you then be upset about it? Who, me or him? Just period. Anybody if who, I'm if I'm would, him, hell yeah. But we live in the internet area. Yeah, no, no, but but if I'm him So you gotta put on for the internet. Yeah, but but I'm saying, but that's the thing. The internet decided before when like that came out, the internet decided Kendrick was that the beef the was game. over. They decided we're going with Kendrick. Drake could do nothing right, bro. Nothing everything because at that point it's that and then ridicule. and then with not like us, then he's like, Let me break it down for you. You go to Atlanta every time you need something. Then it's like you call on Future for this. You call but on the thing. Baby for that. Twenty One for this and all, all that. All that. All that might be. So true. it's like He's any help these niggas. Any way, any route that Drake would have taken, other than the route that he did take after Not Like Us, everybody would have just said, "Oh, here you go." Kendrick said he was going. You but feel me? Try to talk like this. He was going to try to rap like that, and he was going to do this. So you feel me, Kendrick? That's why he won. That's why he's winning. It, like you know what I'm saying in that aspect of it. But this is the thing, though, bro. He he's pushed the culture forward, bro. This is something that Kendrick Kendrick's never. I want people to understand something. 
Kendrick has never pushed the culture forward. Kendrick has never gifted or uplifted. Or, now, now, I'm not counting the TDE shit because that's the people that are on. He's on TDE. Like, they, they, that's different. But Kendrick has never stepped out and said, hey, I found this artist. This is an artist that is in. They might be from Chicago. They might be from Atlanta. They might be from New York. I'm going to throw him a bone. I'm going to give him a Kendrick verse. Right. Drake's done that like up teen thousand times. Like unknown people. We're like, who the fuck was this? Who the fuck is McConan? Yeah. Who the fuck is this? Nigga? Like, who the fuck? Like, yo, he got this on the. Like, it's like, and yeah, you could say it's beneficial for Drake. It's beneficial. Other side it doesn't matter. Drake has always been about pushing the culture forward, bro. Like, 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 even, like, even, even with me being a, a fucking Cole fan. Yeah. I still, I'm still able to appreciate the things that come from all three. And one thing that I do appreciate from Drake, bro, this nigga, he's just a fan of music, bro. Mm -hmm. Like he literally likes music. That's why he tries his hand at so many different sounding things. Like he'll step into the house music shit and he'll throw, he'll, bro, he didn't have to do his fucking, uh, 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 he did the goddamn freestyle with Central C last year. He didn't have to do that shit with Central C. Yeah. Threw Central C a bone. That's a good look for Central C to be standing next to Drake. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You feel me? He didn't have to do no shit with Sexy Red. That's a good look for Sexy Red to have a song on Drake's album, bro. Excuse me. And on nine times out of ten, that there's a it's I I'm a hundred percent sure Rich Baby Daddy was her song. Rich Baby Daddy was her song. I'm not, I'm not. Opposed to thinking that goddamn Drake say, you know what? Let me get on that and let me see if I can get SZA or somebody like that. We could turn this shit up. Oh damn, me and SZA, we just did uh slime you out. I got another song for you, SZA. Boom. Now she's on Rich Baby Daddy. Yeah. Like that's a good look for sexy red, bro. Drake showing up, being in her interview. That's a good, I mean, I mean in her, her music video. That's a good look for sexy red. Fucking with 21 Savage, that's a good look for 21. Fucking with Future, that's a good look for Future. And you can say, what a time to be alive. Future outshine Drake. But that was a look for Future that Future needed, bro. Like, that's a look. Like, And so for me, I'm like, for people to say, oh, Drake goes over here and gets, and gets what he wants from different areas. Those areas use him too. I'm not saying that these people wouldn't be big, but I, they wouldn't be as big. Right. To to this day, I don't I don't think Lil Baby's a good rapper. But to this day, I don't. I, he's, ah, but ah. to this day, to this day, his best verse is what? Yeah, it's uh The Wants and Needs with Drake. Mm, I was gonna say the verse that he gave with J. Cole. Man, your verse is so overrated. Anyway. The, maybe the, maybe to F me it F is F because F the way he came, he picked like he F didn't. It was almost like the verse continued, like so to speak, because he picked up right at the same pace and cadence that Cole. Here we go. All right, but bro. that. <laughs> but what I'm saying is, if you ask most people, they will say his wants and needs verse like that. They will say because he out rap Drake. Yeah. He out rap Drake. Whatever. Boom. He's giving a lot of these people these looks, bro. The Migos. When he hopped on Hannah Montana. I mean, we talked about that shit once. We was like, bro, had had the pandemic not happened, would Lil Baby still be as big as Lil Baby was? I don't think so. Yes. I personally don't think so. I think he turned up in the pandemic, but I don't think he would have. Yeah. I think the pandemic helped. Um, it's a couple. It's a couple of the pandemic helped. The pandemic was helping Tory before Tory, you know, did it had this whole situation. Uh, pandemic helped Roddy Rich. Uh, pandemic helped Meg. Pandemic helped a lot of people. Yeah, because we had to sit in the house. We had to look for things to do. Everybody's, you know, listening to music. It was all more doing stuff like that. Um, but yeah, bro, I just don't like some of the some of the uh, hypoc. Uh, I said hypocrisy. I was about to say that. But, but, <laughs> but I just don't like how how. How the, how the, a lot of the it's, it's wishy washy, bro. Like I said, Kendrick won. He won the battle of public perception. He won the internet games. Did he out rap Drake? No, he didn't. Now I don't like if you just want to go verse for verse, bar for bar. He didn't out rap Drake. Did he rap better than I thought he would have? Eh. 
like I said, Euphoria is dope. Yeah, I fuck with Euphoria. That's the best shit he put out. Um, everything else, forget about it. Six sixteen, meet the Grams. <laughs> Goddamn, not like us. Yeah, <laughs> but Euphoria, two thumbs up for you, my boy. I feel that. I feel that, bro. Mm-hmm. Well, hey. Glad you could get that off your chest. He's selling you niggas a lie, man. Oh. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> He's lying to y'all, man. <coughs> Fake ass activist, bro. You ain't Umar, nigga. You not, bro. Now, see, brothers, what you got to understand yeah, is. Bro, 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 that's, oh my God. That's what makes me so mad, bro. This shit is so weird, bro. Niggas like Louis Farrakhan been trying to get these niggas in a room to talk and squash and hash this shit out for years, bro. And niggas never did it, but they all circled up and rallied the fucking horses and got on stage to hate and diss Drake. What? That's, niggas, niggas sat together. Well, let me, niggas but sat you understand why to though? Take a picture, but bro, you oh, understand wait, why though, wait, right? Wait, but you understand together. why though? To hate, bro. Be- like first of all to hate so okay i feel you i feel you but drake knew he had gone too far when he used tupac as an ai oh he knew he had gone too far bro yeah, that's go, going go too get far nigga jewelry out my house bro that's that's tra- that's a trash bruh. angle that's a trash no angle. it's not it's a trash no angle, it's bro. not bro we didn't see a tupac hologram we didn't see yeah the but that was faces in the box but that we didn't seen all this shit bro that's yeah but all of that shit is west coast angle. but all of that shit is west coast we we man, saw the hologram because the west coast theater. put it's the hologram artistry. together man it's artistry bro bro it's artist it's artistry bro bro niggas only no come, he used only he bro. used tupac hey, bro no hey, no no don't do, don't, do don't do that don't do that don't do that drake niggas, niggas only you know you, you know you, you know everybody everybody in america everybody oh, in the world God. knows how much tupac means to kendrick lamar so for him oh. to use Ken- tupac in a diss in a diss song and got tupac praising him Thanks. and talking talking yeah, talking yeah. him up it's like bro that's kind of crazy he bro. Was here, he would because you don't know. And a nigga not even from California. Yeah, he was on the West Coast. Shit, a nigga from New York, man. Like, bro, at the end of the day, bro, at the end of the day, bro, that shit is art, bro. You can't tell somebody how, how XYZ artists impacted them or whatever. Cool, you can say Kendrick got that. Pop, pop is whatever. But I'm telling you right now, if it was another artist that did that. West Coast niggas did appreciate it, it. If it was a no, he didn't appreciate it. And his estate didn't appreciate it. Tupac's estate didn't appreciate it because they ain't get no fucking money off of it. That's all it was. And they wanted some fucking money. Just That's why they sold that nigga's ring. If, they, if, if, if Drake would have threw them niggas some fucking money, they want to try to sue the nigga for the shit, bro. At the end of the day, bro, if another nigga did the same thing, Nobody gives a fuck. It's the fact that it was Drake. That's why. That's why when they asked Snoop about it, Snoop was like, "Bro, that's they beefing. That's cool. That's, that's some. It's some different shit. I never thought somebody would have did but that." But I, I get but that. It is what it is. I get what you're saying. But all I'm saying is that's why the West backed him like they did. Man, they was gonna back him regardless. That nigga could have farted on a the track. They backing him, bro. It doesn't matter, uh, bro. Bro, he was chosen, bro. In 2010 or 2011, I can't remember exactly what year. That nigga was chosen, bro. He was on stage. It was the entire West Coast. You got corrupt. You got Snoop. You got Game. You got Dr. Dre. You got all these niggas on stage bro they praise this nigga Kendrick say yo you the next of hey everybody who was here tonight he's the next nigga and they pass him the west coast crown he's teflon when it comes to the west coast he can do whatever the fuck he wants and they will never they will but never that, but that, say anything negative or true about it. But that it could be that just furthers that just furthers my 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 side of of what you're saying. No, I'm not disagreeing. I'm not disagreeing with you. But that just furthers what I'm what the point that I'm making. The point that I'm making is if he's if he's been done as the king of the West right now, always has, and and he's been and that's that's been his role. They're gonna back him. For sure, they can't. You can't give somebody a crown and call him king, and and give him all these accolades and all this praise, and then when it's time for y'all to back him and and back your king, so to speak, then act like you feel me. We don't we don't have his back. They have to back him. The West Coast dubbed him based on the other West Coast legends who came up, like you said, Snoop, Dre. They all had their turn. They all had their opportunity. They all had their chance. They all capitalized, but they see something. They all saw the same thing in Kendrick at once. They all saw him as the next, quote-unquote, 
Tupac, you about to be the next biggest thing to to come out of the West Coast. Yeah. You about to be the next thing to represent California to us to California's maximum level. You about to take it to places that that Tupac took it, and also you about to pick up right where Tupac left off, and hopefully you can surpass and succeed all the things that he was trying to do with this rap shit, and then also the activism, which is why he's so big on the activism, and he's so big like him and Tupac, they they have the same views and ideologies, so it's like, bro, like yeah. The West Coast is gonna back him, and that's what I'm was. That's what I'm saying. As far as what you saying, if he's been dubbed as this, you can't yeah. then turn your back on him I'm and be like, "Bro, you on your own." No, figure I, it out. I'm not saying turn it back. What I'm saying is, it's they. He tried. I'm gonna say he, but it was dressed up as if he did this so beautiful and wonderful thing he connected people and broke down barriers and got people to be in the same room and on stage together that would never be in the same room or on stage together before yeah. what i'm saying is the cause behind it is what make it was what made it corny we got leaders and, and politicians and, and and people who are who are prominent in in the area the west coast and west coast street gangs and all type of shit who have tried to do this for years bro years and y'all y'all can never so many things have happened over the years in, in in their community and they can never connect over yeah they connected over hating and stepping on drake and they were so ecstatic they took the picture and I'm telling you now, if nothing else, if nothing positive comes from from that moment, and it just goes back to regular schedule programming, yeah, that's what makes it corny. Like, don't 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 demonstrate something that you could have been doing. Don't demonstrate something that you should be doing. Like, just because you know you can, if you know you can, then really do it. You should have been doing this if you were able. To get all these niggas who don't like each other together and bond over being from the West Coast, why can you've done that last year? Why can you've done that the year before? Why did it take a beef with another nigga who's not even from where you from to unite y'all? That's what makes it corny. Yeah. So if nothing positive comes from that, mm -hmm. and it just goes back, all right, next Tuesday I'm gonna still hate you, nigga. Then what? Then it's, that's what makes it. That's what makes it corny to me, bro. So like, yeah, the moment in the moment, it's like, damn, that's dope. That's a dope picture. But if nothing changes, then it's all a facade, bro. It's not real. That's what I mean when I say it's not real, bro.